Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O and Ow, 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 ow. And I'm here with the fluffy poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish greenness. Sometimes it turns purple hair. <laughs> For the past couple days, we have been inside of our camper because we have been seriously, majorly sick. If you didn't watch the video the other day, you know, where we had to go see the doctor, um, I'd definitely check out that video. Um, it, it's just it's just getting worse and worse, and I'm waiting for the results. They should be coming in any time today. A lot of you may ask, like, really, what is going on? Um, I, I have, like, something going on with my with my lungs. It's, it's like there's water in them or something. It doesn't feel good. It's making me cough a lot. And it's shortness of breath. It sucks. But instead of, you know, staying inside the camper at all times, I think the fluffy poodle needs to get outside and get a little exercise in. Man, ugh. I hate coughing like that. Anyways, like I was telling you guys, we, we really need to walk on over here to Fluffy's training area. You know, it's my big backyard, but he has an obstacle course over there. We're gonna go over there and just do a little bit of training because we still need to exercise our service dogs mentally or physically every day. And we're gonna show you how even though you're sick, you don't have to move far, you don't have to do much, and your dog can still have fun. During this training, I'm gonna sit right here and show you guys that you don't have to go far to do some simple and amazing dog training. First, we gotta get him excited with the toy. Is it a good boy? Yeah, is it a good boy? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, oh. Fluffy, go get it, boy. Good boy, Fluffy. Come on, enter. Come on, boy. Good boy, Fluffy, enter. Good, yes. <coughs> Forgive me, I'm sorry. Now before we jump back in this training session, a lot of people always ask me, you know, why does Fluffy do so good and how can he adapt and overcome in every environment? And the truth is that we actually train literally everywhere and every day, no matter what. Rain, sleet, hail, snow, shine, no matter how we're feeling, you know, because we are always constantly building this bond and improving our memory and what we can do in our life. Right when we were getting all sentimental and everything and telling you about what was going on and uh, we got the phone call from the doctor. <coughs> Ouch. The phone call went like this. Yes, sir. Yep. Ooh, I didn't expect that one. Am I going to be okay? Do they have medicine to fix this? And how long until I'm fully recovered? I understand. I guess I have no choice. Thank you for your help and God bless you. So basically what the doctor said is I have a severe case of pneumonia and uh, I definitely need to be going back in and getting some further tests and making sure I'm okay and taking the medicine that, you know, is going to be prescribed. But you know me, if I'm still moving just because my lungs don't work properly right now doesn't mean everything else does it. So well, let's... Let's use our mind and try to, and our body and utilize the things that we can to uh, still have fun and build this relationship. So let's just jump right back into some training. Fluffy, come on boy, enter. Good boy, enter. You wanna go that way again? Come on. Good, yes. He's a little more excited when he has that toy. Come on, Fluffy. It was a good boy. Out. Good, sit. Good, down, good, heel, good, under, lay down. You know you don't sit when you're under. Good, stand, good boy, Um, touch, good, stay, yes. And there he goes and gets it and he comes right back in a controlled manner. Out, good touch, good place. There you go, it took him a second. All right, break, yes! Good, come here, out, good. 
A lot of people always say, well, my dog doesn't bring this back every time. Then it looks like your dog doesn't know the proper way to play fetch. Nobody should expect their dog to go, you throw something, pick it up and bring it back all the way. You gotta teach that behavior. So sometimes you gotta do it basic, even up front like this. Get them excited, throw it right there in front of you. Yes, pick up, good. On a leash, pull them back, good. Out, good boy, good boy. Fluffy heel, good sit, all right. Then you do a little bit further and further and further and further and then eventually I can literally, and we have videos on the channel that I can, I put this on one side of a football field and he runs all the way to the other. I have it, you know, a hundred yards. He's done it multiple hundreds of yards as well. But uh, with that being said, we're going to end the video right here. Make sure you comment down below, thoughts, prayers. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the video. If you made it this long in the video, seriously, you're a trooper. And we love each and every one of you. <coughs> ouch, 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 ouch. Until next time, you guys know who this is. It's Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right. Mr. Fluffy Bear is bluish, greenish. Sometimes it turns purple hair. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye. Yes. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.